I would say when it comes to mitochondria, like mitochondrial biogenesis is a key thing. The key thing with mitochondrial biogenesis is what we've been talking about, getting hormesis, getting activation, getting that proteomic message to actually make these mitochondria. And we can all make them. I mean, the more movement, the more activity we have, the more cognitive stimulation we have, the more challenges we have to our system, the more mitochondria we can make. Um, mm -hmm. And then the next thing is really getting rid of unhealthy mitochondria. So this whole mitophagy pathway, because we have like only so much space in a cell. <laughs> And there's only so much mitochondria that can be generated in that cell. And if they're unhealthy and bad, then it's actually going to impair mitochondrial biogenesis pathways. And this, and if you and if you look at all the research on mitophagy, the clearing out of these unhealthy mitochondria, because a period of time they just wear out. So as they make energy and ATP, these cells become less efficient, and then we have to get rid of them, and we have to get rid of them in order to have space for new ones to come in. So if this mitophagy pathway, this clearing out of unhealthy mitochondria that have kind of worn out over time uh, isn't working, then it's a big problem. And that goes back to just like sleep. Like you gotta have sleep. I mean, I think people don't realize physiologically, the reason we have to have sleep is because we have to use all our energy to get rid of all our, our debris cells. Yeah. Mitophagy, mitophagy. So like movement activity and getting proper sleep probably is some of the best remedies for any kind of fatigue endurance issue than any nutraceutical.